Uh, welcome guys for another product DNA video, this time the modular radio pouch MX634. We've got a set consisting out of the main body for the radio pouch, then we've got on the uh, right hand side two different bottom closure systems and then we've got even uh, two closure systems for the radio pouch itself. I will show you how you uh, build it together so you can use it as a pouch because like it's now you can't use it. So first of all you must decide what and how you want to wear it. What kind of radio a big military one or a small police one or a private one, for example the uh, telephone. And then on the second side, where do you want to put the radio pouch? You've got two different versions. You've got the uh, pulse version to put on your Molle system anywhere, right? Or you've got a Velcro flap where you can put the radio on most of our plate carriers on the inside. So you can put it like this so you don't use up any molly slots. That's the uh, advantage. And you've got it now on the inside. You can even uh, change the heights. First of all, we will decide now where to put the radio with what fixture system, the flap or the molly. So you can use it on both sides and this makes it of course dependent on what side I must use uh, the bottom flap. So in our example, I will put it now on the right hand side, I will use uh, the Velcro flap to put it on the inside of the plate carrier system and I will show it as an example with the big military radio. So if I put the big military radio system into it, it fits already quite nicely and I see that the bottom part, if I put it really far in, so that on the speaker system is uh, uh, showing out of the pouch, I use the long bottom flap. To put on the bottom flap, you've got on each side a small kind of flap system as you see here. So the other side is the Velcro system. This will be on the front side and this will be on the inside. So on the inside you've got on the bottom side, you will see it, there is a slot. So in this slot, this small loop will go into the slot, right, all the way in, so that the lower end is uh, hooking into the slot. So if you pull, you will see the flap is inside, and if I pull, it doesn't come out. Of course, if I pull too hard, it will come out. But this will never be uh, possible if a radio is inserted because the radio, of course, will push pressure on the side. So now it's impossible to pull it out. Now you can choose through which slots you will be going to change the height of the radio. So you come from the inside, go through the first slot and now in our example we said we want to have the uh, screen out. So I would pull it now and I see, okay, if I want to wear it like this, I must use the highest slot. 
So I go in it and out again. And this small flap is hooking into the slot. That's it, very easy. And the, make sure, okay, the height is the correct one for this type of radio. We can use it as such. If the pressure is not enough for your need, if the radio is going maybe too easy in or out, you can of course adjust the elastic bands. So just pull the elastic bands, get a knot inside, and of course now the elastic bands will put additional pressure to the elastic sides onto the radio and the radio like this and the radio will be now fitting much snugger into the pouch. For closing additional securement system that the radio doesn't fall out during running or uh, quick movements. Um, as I told you, you've got uh, two different versions. We've got a small plastic buckle or the Velcro system. So the Velcro system will then go over the radio and attach to the front the female Velcro system. I would choose now for such a big and heavy radio the plastic buckle. So in this case, I take from the Velcro closing flap the elastic part. You just put it through the other side of the plastic buckle, like this. Very easy. And now, of course, you can decide which part should be bottom side or upper side. In my uh, case, I will take this as the upper side. So I take the elastic band and you will see we've got two, two round openings where you push them through. So they are now against the back side. You just secure them with a small knot. The uh, exact adjustment I would do later with the radio inserted. So I will take now the uh, bottom buckle with the elastic cord and put it through the opening at the front side. So just push it through. Secure it with a knot. And if you've got now the radio inside the pouch, you can do the adjustment how far the buckle must be. So in my case, I need more pressure on the lower side. And now as you see, the radio is firmly secured by the buckle closure system and uh, the radio as such is now ready to be integrated into the front part of the uh, plate carrier system with the Velcro system. If you do it now on the right hand side with the PALS version, which is also not a, uh, which is another possibility, you can either close it, attach it here, the uh, Velcro system, or if you are sure you only will be using it with the pulse, you can take it and you will see you've got a nice gap here where you can just cut it off and throw it away. But this of course only to be done if you're sure by using it with the pulse. Uh, attachment system.
All right, guys, that was it from our side, Lindenhof team. Uh, stay tuned and uh, keep following us.